Good morning, it's Jeremy Ward with Ward Realty Services. I have been super busy here lately uh, for over the last couple of years and everybody asked me, where you been? What you been up to, Jeremy? I haven't seen you in a while and haven't seen you on social media that much and I see you out, out running around, but what are you up to? Man, that's, that's a long story. <laughs> so, uh, you know, as you know, we, we all just came through COVID, through the real estate business. Now it's September uh, 2023. And, you know, it's funny to think that we're still recovering and, and getting back into action from that COVID that shook all of our worlds a couple of years ago. Uh, but since then, as many of you know, I'm the broker owner of Ward Realty Services, and I also run Jeremy Ward Team. And the Jeremy Ward team is what really created the brokerage. Um, and, I'll, and I'll save you all the years of stories, but basically uh, we opened our brokerage in 18. We were working really hard. Our numbers have been extremely good. And um, over the, the last few years, you know, we had agents like Lewis Walden that was just a rock star. Uh, he had set a go to move to Florida with his family. And of course, we jumped in and, and set a three-year go, and we was able to do it in two with all of Lewis's hard work. Uh, and now he's been a successful agent in Florida for the Bardos Group. Uh, we've also had agents that uh, came to the team and then got got their business built and doing really well. And they've, they've went out like Christina and Seth. Seth uh, McKim and the McKim team and created their own team underneath our umbrella and that's worked out great. So long story short, I had to bring in a lot more agents to backfill these top producers that had graduated from the team and did something else. Uh, so the last two years I've been really just me and Jen Allen, my manager and, and our trainers and our assistants, we've been really pouring a lot of energy into our newer agents and helping them build their business. So I've been busy doing that instead of uh, out running around with my video and, and doing social media. But with that said, uh, our younger team has really done well. Uh, they're working together really well. Uh, the numbers are outstanding. I was it's like I say, it's September of 2023 right now. And I just looked at our team numbers uh, year to date. We've closed 236 deals already this year with a volume of about 52,700,000 and some change. And uh, I guess the, the real encouraging thing is that we have another 52, min, 52 deals pended for about $13 million. Uh, what's that tell us about the market? Well, we're not seeing a slowdown personally. Uh, our agents, uh, we have been a f focused on the bread and butter, our past clients, you know, and, and just talking to people and focusing on that um, sales price between two and three hundred fifty thousand dollars. It's just basically in this market a sweet spot, and it's really paid off. Like I say, our numbers were the number one team in Southern Indiana right now, not only in transactions but volume, and that's that that's hard to do, especially with the volume when you're competing against teams that have major builders that are huge players in this market and they're feeding them hundreds of listings a year. So I just wanted to talk about the team a little bit and congratulate these guys. Uh, they've done an amazing job. Uh, you can feel very confident in our team if you're wanting to buy or sell, give one of us a call. Uh, the other side of my business has been the brokerage. Uh, on the brokerage side, there is a lot of, uh, you know, there's a difference between having just running a team. Uh, the brokerage agents are more like solo agents. They're, they're working on their own business and I'm kind of helping them, supporting them training them, uh, doing something, uh, stuff of that matter. But they truly kind of run their, their independent contractors. They run their own business, so to speak. I'm just the brokers they put their license with. And I'm the guy that tries to support and train and just help them. But for the total brokerage, we've done 330 sides at uh, about almost $74 million. Um, and then there's 70 more pending deals within that at about $17 million. So the market's not slowing down. Uh, our agents are not slowing down. They're working. And one thing that I've seen uh, throughout real estate is those who are willing to work will always do well. Uh, there is no magic button. There is no, you know, uh, magic program that, that turns your business on and just uh, it makes you a rock star overnight. It's, it's work. So these agents that we have on board have been, um, they're just doers. They're workers. And uh, they're doing really well for for us being a small agency in our market. You know, we're, we're number six 
in all the agencies, and I'm very proud of that. But um, so that's kind of what I've been up to uh, is is training, supporting, and just working my tail off to help my agents. On a little bit of a, a funner note, uh, the beginning of this year, I I thought about um, what can we do in our communities to you know show up, give back, that sort of thing. We always do a lot of donations, sponsorships for for ball teams. We try to be in all the uh, community festivals. Uh, for example, Heritage Weekend, we've always had a booth. The Cordon Fair, we've had a booth. Um, we've we've shown up in a lot of these arenas, but. We wanted to do something a little bit more. Uh, so I started thinking about what would be something cool that we could, you know, could we build a float or something to put it in a parade? And that's one thing I'm not. I'm not very handy when it comes to carpentry and, and building things. I'm good at tearing stuff up, but building not so much. So uh, I seen a fire truck on Facebook Marketplace and I kind of put it out to some of our agents like Seth McKim, who's very creative and has done a lot of parade, parade floats. And he said, oh man, dude, you need to buy that. So I went up and took a look at it. There it is, it's a 1969 fire truck, an old pumper, uh, has ladders and racks and all the gear on it. And I uh, went up and seen the old guy. It came from, uh, originally it was bought and sold uh, from Ford to the Edgemont Fire Department in Cincinnati, Ohio. They had it in service for some years, I don't know exactly how long. And then a gentleman that collects fire trucks had bought it from them and uh, kept it in his warehouse. Um, soon, at some point, he had sold it to the gentleman I'd bought it from. That gentleman had took it and used it in his adventure park up in Brown County, Indiana to give rides, to be in parades. He would take them, load them all up, and ride them up to his zip line, that sort of thing. And I guess <laughs> when I got there, he had let me know that he was kind of starting to lose his mind, so to speak, that his father had kind of uh, had dementia and stuff at that age and he could tell he was going into it so he was downsizing some of his equipment stuff and so long story short uh, we, we we cut a deal together and I was all excited just to get in this truck and drive it home and uh, so we, we pull off in the first hill the first hill this thing would barely pull the hill my wife's behind me and I'm like honey don't don't get too close like I'm afraid this thing's gonna start rolling backwards so we get up the hill, we get out to the main road, and I'm trying to put some fresh fuel in it. I I'm, don't know exactly what all is going on with it, but I know it ain't running right. So I give the gentleman a call. He, he gives me a couple ideas to check. So I checked a few things. I really couldn't tell. Got it back on the road. And uh, it's about an hour and a half drive from Brown County to Cordon on the back roads and the old state highways. So, of course, I made the wrong turn, and I end up on uh, I-65 up by Columbus. Uh, with this truck that's not wanting to really even pull itself. So I get pulled over at the interstate and I call the seller again. I'm like, hey man, this thing, I don't know what to do. It is not running right. So I check around, I find a plug wire off. I'm like, oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That could be it. So I get that put back on, check a few other things. I get it back up on the road. It's doing better. Like it's, it's running like on probably realistically three of the eight cylinders. And my wife's following me behind me in the truck. She keeps texting me. She's like, this thing's just dumping gas everywhere. It's like, I can almost taste the gas inside the cab of the truck. And I'm like, believe me, I know I'm, I'm holding it to the floor, just trying to get it to go. So you, you just wouldn't believe this trip we had back through the back roads. So I got off Columbus or I got on the interstate at Columbus. And I think I got back off at like, I don't know, Austin or Scottsburg somewhere trying to get back to, um, Highway 135 that would bring me through Salem and back into Cordon. So I'm going back to the back roads here, coming into Salem, and this thing, when it gets to a hill, like I'm in granny gear, and I kid you not, the whole way up there and back, we were we were going past like Amish wagons and people driving these Amish carts and horses, uh, horse pulled buggies. And I swear to you, one of the buggies passed me on the way there, like we were going that slow. I got on a hill and I was like, I can't believe it. The Amish buggies are passing me. I'm going so slow. But uh, finally, I got it home, and oh my gosh, it needed everything. Carburetor rebuild. It needed plugs, wires, water pump, like everything. The truck only had 7,100 miles on it, but it's 54, 54 years old. So long story short, we get it home, and that's what we've been doing on the side on the weekends. When I'm working real estate during the week on the weekends, me and my friend, He's a little mechanical. We've been working on this fire truck. So um, I guess it was 
first of August, we did our first parade and we drove it up to Sellersburg for Sellersburg Celebrates. My butt was puckered the whole way because you're just like, what's going to break next? What's is this thing running right? What's going on with it? I'm a realtor, not a mechanic. And um, so we get it up there. It makes it through the, the parade. It does fine. It's still running rich. We know we don't have it quite right yet. And uh, but everybody had a good time. We got to get in the parade. We handed out pop signals like we was like really feeling good about it. Everybody was happy that worked the parade. And so we're on our way home and this thing starts acting up again. I just barely got it up Paley Pike to get it back to our office. And um, so there again, we have another parade the week, two weeks after that, which would be Lanesville Heritage. We just finished. So my friend Earl and I, we got back um, last Friday and we worked on it. We found like three plugs, totally like the, the tips blown off of them because it had been dumping so much gas in the cylinders. Long story short, we fixed that. And we went up to the Lanesville Heritage Spray. We had a blast. The truck ran great. Uh, we had a large turnout. I think we had 10 or 11 agents on the back of it. And we was able to go through the parade. It was a blast and got it back. And we're looking forward to our next parade. So that has been kind of a summer recap. We've just been working our tails off, trying to serve our clients, working on fire trucks, um, just doing a lot. And I'm really looking forward to how we're going to finish out this year with uh, with our newer agents and, and our team. Uh, we're just seeing a huge amount of growth. Um, again, we're the number one team in Southern Indiana, both transactions and volume. I'm super proud of that. Like we started, I had the vision of the team in like 2008 or nine. Never thought we would be selling 300, 350 homes a year, let alone be in our own brokerage. So. Um, that's what I've been up to. And uh, I, I've not had many naps. Uh, I've not slept in a lot. I've been working. So if you guys see me out, you know, uh, holler at me, ask me about the fire truck. I'd love to share with you about it. Uh, and I guess now that you're watching these videos, you're seeing that I'm doing a lot of video uh, with my agents and with my clients and our partners. Uh, we've actually brought on a videographer full time that works for us. And it's been amazing having him uh, available with us 40 hours a week to capture some of these moments and these deals that we're working on. Um, and I would just encourage if you're interested in buying or selling real estate, give us a call. But not only that, if you're looking for a career in real estate, um, you might want to give me a call on that as well. We've, we've had a good track record of taking new agents and turning them into rock stars, top producers. So uh, anyway, that's what I've been up to this week. Uh, feel free to reach out to me anytime. I'd love to hear if you've got a fire truck story, I'd love to hear it. Um, hopefully we've got the worst of the fire truck behind us and it's, it's running strong. So uh, anyway, hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching. For more local real estate news, please subscribe to the Jeremy Ward Team YouTube channel.